Hi everybody, this is the first video tutorial regarding electrical load calculation. Today I'm going to use the restaurant as an example to do the electrical calculation. So in this restaurant we'll have basically the power, lighting, equipment and aircon to be calculated. So what is needed? All you need is to use the Microsoft Excel or simply your pen, paper and a calculator. So let us start with the Excel. First of all, the most important thing to, to have is the project title. You should key in your project title as a first, followed by your date of preparation and uh, who is preparing this document. And this is the basic information that the user will actually look at when they receive the file. So after we have typed in all this information, we can start to create our table. In the first row, we can have a serial number, which is uh, for people to recognize where are, they, where are they at. Next, we should have the description to describe the equipment or the services that we are going to calculate. The third column will have the electrical load calculation. Uh, this is the section where you describe how many of each item and then uh, what is the voltage of each item. Next, we have the diversity factor. This is the factor to apply when the, the, when the items are not, recent, uh, not frequently used. And the last but not least, we have the total load in voltage. So let us adjust the table a little, centralize it, and then we will adjust the column width to fit the, the wordings. Okay, finally we can get into some real business. So we have number one, the general power. Uh, next we have the general lighting. Third we have the equipment. And uh, in the restaurant, we should at least have a fridge. We have some chiller. Uh, we have this a vending machine. There might be. And then uh, last but not least, we can have this uh, coffee machine. The last service we want to include is the air conditioning. We should call it aircon. So in the restaurant, where everybody is enjoying the aircon, this aircon actually comes from the fan coil units and the fan coil units are supported by the condensing unit in this example. So, let us get into the calculation part. Okay, for general power, we usually use 300 watt as the, as the uh, gauge for a twin gang power point. Next we have the general lighting. This is actually calculated uh, by adding up all the light bulbs multiplied by the respective voltages. Next we put in an estimated watt or switch 2 kilowatt. Chiller where one set is 2 kilowatt. Standing machine we have a uh, 500 watt. And uh, last is the coffee machine. We can have a uh, 400 watt for it. Next is the aircon. For aircon, we usually take it as a 2 kilowatt, and uh, it's just an estimation. And then for the foundation unit, in this example, we use it at 4 kilowatt. So, this diversity, what does it do? Usually, for the general power, general lighting, we we'll put it as uh, around 70 to 80 percent. For fridge and chiller, it's used all the time and that's why we are putting it as 1. For the remaining is self-explanatory. You can use you can just put all of them as 1 if you are not comfortable with putting it. So lastly we will get the total load column multiplied by the diversity factor and then you get the running load. So once we have all this data, we can finally do a sum 
we should merge the last cell so that it will appear as one item so we have total load here in a voltage and then you can use this simple uh, math or equation it's called the sum function and then you can sum up an entire column above it or any selection that you put next we have the total load in ampere this is uh, using the formula of a voltage divided by 0.85 which is converting it to the VA and then we divide by 230 and divide by 3 for more information you can check the link below and last but not least we should put in the proposed incoming supply so all you gotta do now is to do all the uh, borders uh, coloring to make the file more presentable thank you